Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come up and around like this, like we've been doing. And I went ahead and did the tail, and it's the same thing with the tail, you're just going to fan it out a little bit with the V-tool and to that little notch we had put there. And he's pretty well done. Um, I'll go ahead and finish up the nostril on my own, but um, we'll be... Um, you just want to finish up the um, the mane here a little bit yet. Just like so. One thing, you want to rest your thumb against your piece. It will help you to control your, your gouge or V-tool, whatever you use as a as a tool. We're going to bring this up and around. Just like so. A little strokes all the way. We're going to go ahead and finish this. Okay. It's pretty well it right there. If it feels like it's tugging a little bit, then just switch, turn it over and go the other way. If you're if your V tool is sharp enough, you should be go you should be able to go across the grain with no problem. So there's the mane and the tail. I'm gonna finish up this other nostril while I'm with you here. Again, we're gonna we did a little hole there, we're gonna put a little hole over here. Let me get the little larger gouge that we had used before. I think that's the one. Yep. And so what I did is I pushed down on one side, kind of turned it over and went to the other side. Because if you go in there you start grinding it, you know, uh, you can take the edge of your tool can actually notch a piece out. So just be careful when you do this. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to go kind of deep. Oh, we have to still do the mouth yet too, so we're not done yet. I'll be okay. We'll have enough time on this video to finish it up before we paint it. So I have that little piece there, so I'd take another little smaller version of the tool. Where did I put it? Here it is. Um, I go in here and I kind of do the same thing. I kind of dig it out a little bit and pop it out. Okay, so the nose is a little higher. <laughs> That's okay. It's close enough for me right now. And we can make this a little higher too if we want. Uh, if that happens, you can make the other nose just a tad higher. It's also okay. Okay. There's all kinds of things you can do. So what I did was I took a little be little gouge. This is the G15. These are dockyard um, tools. And then all I did was follow that a little bit to make that nose stick out, that nostril stick out a little bit. In fact, let me use something a little bit bigger. And you have to be mindful how the grain is running. Okay, see how we just did that? And you just want to go around the other side. You can do it with a knife. I did the first one with a knife, but I found this might be a, just a little easier for you to do it if you're not comfortable with doing it with a knife. And then I go back and I kind of clean it up so it's flat against the nose. I'm going to work on that a little bit more on my own time to have those nostrils stick out a little bit. Okay? And the next thing we're going to do is the last thing is his mouth. Okay? Is in there. So all we're going to do is uh, I'm going to try to make that nice and alright, there we go. And we're going to go from one side to the other. And if you want to draw it on, it might be a good idea. Just so that you stay in, in the area you're supposed to. And it goes all the way from one side to the other. Alright. Just like so. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife. I'm going to take my detail knife. It's just a tad sharper. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Take, just do a stop cut all the way across. Or you can take your V tool across as well if you choose to do so, that's fine. Now go over here to the top. Alright, and just put a little cut in there, just like so. Whoops. 
That's not a good thing to drop your tools, folks. It really isn't. Not smart. Just kind of make a nice little indentation there. A little V-cut. Because this animal along with cows and all, they have a very big mouth. You know, we raised a lot of calves here at the farm, a lot of cattle. And the calves always had their teeth on the bottom, not on the top of their face. They didn't have, like, buck teeth. They had teeth on the bottom. And uh, I'll tell you, they were sharp little boogers. We had to teach them how to drink out of a bucket, and I'll tell you, they could bite you. Alright, so there you go. Alright. I didn't go all the way across on that one. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's bring this down a little bit. Alright. Same thing over here. You don't have to go all the way across. You can leave a little space there. Alright, so there we go. This is our project. Uh, I'm going to clean it clean it up quite a bit and uh, fix this hair a little bit at the top. It's a little wider than this one. It's fine. Um, there's really no right or wrong way of doing it with caricatures. Uh, you know, it's an over-exaggeration of, of, of their bodies and things, you know, their head or their ears or their feet and all that. So we got the little bumps on his, um, on his knees and stuff. We've got the tail done and all that. Now I'm just going to look at this. I'm going to clean this up just a bit more. I'm going to bring this down a little further. Kind of blend things in together a little bit. That there's not an abrupt turn or, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit here and there. And uh, that will work really, really well. You know, just go back and clean up what you think needs to be cleaned up. And th that takes a while sometimes for some people. For me it takes a while because um, you know I'm, I'm redoing I'll look at a piece and say ah I'll fuss. I call this fussing with it. You know just take your time, fuss with it, get all, everything done, cleaned up all the all the like you see right here this needs to be cleaned up right underneath the ear here and stuff. You know, you want it as clean as possible with a knife. Since I don't use sandpaper at all, okay, so you just want to go in there and clean things up and stuff. Now if you want, and if you can, you can use a little bit of a gouge, a rounded gouge up underneath his ears if you like. I did a little bit of that with him, but um, I'm decided not to do it with this one. Okay, folks, thanks again, and we'll come back with the last video of it painted. All right, bye-bye.